Good morning ladies and gents, I'm back with another Conqueror's Play video and this time I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So this is going to be a Siege gameplay and this is going to be a video series that I'm going to be putting out onto the channel fairly regularly. Let me know down in the comments below if you do enjoy this kind of video and you want to see more. So this is going to be a Siege battle with commentary over with like just tips, tricks, opinions, that kind of thing. Let me know if you are enjoying it. Let me know if you want to see more and I will look to put out even more for you of this style of video. I know some people like to just watch a bit of gameplay with a bit of commentary over it and actually a lot of other YouTubers do this kind of video so this is the kind of thing that I want to be getting into as well. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below but let's get straight into it. Okay, so defending on the Great Wall, not a lot of people like this map, but we're uh, actually quite enjoying this map. I do quite like this. It is a bit of a nightmare to attack this map, though. It is. Some of the points on here are quite difficult to take. Defending is, I feel, a lot more fun on this map, especially this point here. It just becomes an absolute bloodbath at this point. And then the, uh, the very last point just here is an absolute bloodbath. So we're going to see how we get on, though, anyway. So we're playing solo tonight. And we're just going to have a few Siege games, see how this goes. Let me know down in the comments below if you are enjoying this kind of video as well. So I am getting, trying to get more into doing some just Siege gameplays. Because I know a lot of the other YouTubers and stuff actually do a lot of videos like this. So if you are enjoying this kind of video, do let me know as well. Just to uh, just to keep me on, on the track of actually what you guys want from all of these videos but we're going to see how we do tonight i'm going to give you a few tips and stuff as we're actually playing through and we'll see how we get on hopefully we win our first siege battle for this series so i'm going to be trying to put out one of these uh one of these battles or one of these uh siege maps every every few nights so probably every three or four or four nights uh and it's going to be a, a big range of different battles, uh, depending on how well they do as well. So this is really important. This is really dependent on actually how much you enjoy these kinds of videos by letting me know in the comments and hitting the like button. I will look to actually do more of these. So I would like to actually get to like a daily upload of these, but it's wow. <laughs> God, that dude just got absolutely ended by my archers. Um, I would like to do like an absolute uh, a daily series of these, but it's all dependent on actually how well they go and how much you guys enjoy them. But straight back to the map. So this is, like I said, the Great Wall. This is a bit of a bloodbath map. It does come out of rotation fairly often. At the minute, it's been in for a little while. So these guys usually do breach this wall down here. When you're attacking, that's probably the easiest way of getting in. And if you can actually time it with the people rushing through the gate as well, usually you can kind of get through and do a bit of headway. But these guys aren't really looking like they're uh, using any teamwork as such. They've taken the supply point over there, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass because they can just go back and recoup. Um, I think I am going to put a grape shot down there. I'm going to put it somewhere where they can't actually get me either. So whenever you put an artillery down, whenever you put an archers or any defensive unit down, I always try and think about actually what kind of line of sight people have, what kind of uh, areas or angles of attack people have as well. So here I can blast people as they come through the gate, but I can't actually be targeted by anyone in this gate here. So it's quite a nice little angle to have. Um, but as you can see, anybody that goes running over to the, to the point, they can just get blasted. Although I have just missed those, those people and they've just come up behind us as well, which is great. It's not great, so I'm going to try it. Oh god. Freaking jaw blades, man. God damn it. I was going to try and hold it. Um, it looks like half our team aren't even in there though, which is a bit of a nightmare. So these guys are... the. the guys and girls that are actually in there at the minute are holding it fairly decent 
MVP is another content creator and he's, uh, he's a pretty decent guy. I don't know any other names in here though. I've been playing this game for so long now I actually like, recognise a lot of people that are uh, in these games. Which is, I, I don't think it's a great thing that I've been playing for so long. I actually recognise people. But it's, it's nice to see sometimes actually people you do know kind of on your team. It's also fun when people are against you as well, because you know kind of what you're going up against. Uh, we're going to try and get the Berserkers down here though. Berserkers are going to take a little while to get down there, because they've got to go all the way round and then back back along the uh, cliff face. So actually, because of that, I'm going to go and run over to the resupply here, and I think I'm just going to use my kind of throwaway unit, which is my Hammer Boys, just so I can use them. So the reason why I use these guys, even in a uh, defensive siege battle, these guys are really good at pushing towers, pushing uh, battle room rams and stuff like that, but they also give you the mercenary bonus, which is 10% extra experience, bronze, honor, everything like that. So they're really worthwhile taking, especially these guys. If you are looking to get in a mercenary unit, get these Martellatori, because they are by far the, uh, the most useful mercenary unit and the cheapest as well. So they're only 30 leadership, which is insane. So you can bring them into like every game and get that bonus, which is really useful. So these guys are starting to really push in now and they're starting to, to make a bit of headway and there is not many of our team left in here now, so I think we're just gonna have to try and buy a little bit oh god. Try and buy a little bit of time. But they have taken that. So sometimes you can kinda of hold them here, just outside of A. Um, what I think we're going to do though is I'm going to get my lunch next. I'm going to go set up a B, try and stop them at B. B again is also a bit of a bloodbath to begin with until they blow up the wall. If they manage to blow up the wall, which is just that one, they um, they can then start trapping you and stuff, and it's a bright pain in the ass to try and defend it then. Uh, I think my lunch next are probably going to get. Hurt trying to get up here. Yeah, they're all dying, so they're going to be better off just fighting down that. Not doing great <laughs> this game, I have to say. I'm going to run out of units here. I've only got one unit left, and that's the Berserkers. This is not going well. Um, that was a bit of a mistake on my part for supplying. Oh, using the supply point down there. But. We'll go get our berserkers. We'll see if we can hold uh, B. I might set up my other grape shot actually in the corner to try and stop people. But if they're clever, they may actually come around the back and just take straight, uh, take C straight from us. Uh, hopefully, people are going to be on top of that because they are hard hitting B. So they are starting to really stack up and go for B. Really good units for in here are things like your pasta pikes. So these guys, um, I always forget the name of them. The season three like pike unit, the one with the really long pikes, because they can block off this this entrance really easy, and they've all this is the only way they can actually get in here from that side. Uh, Grape shot is. I'm gonna just stick it right here. So anyone, anyone that tries to get in here is just gonna get absolutely blasted. Oh, if I said great shot, I've got damage. These berserkers are not gonna last long. I don't think. Unfortunately, but they are pumping out some damage though. Yeah, it's just so many units there, they've just been absolutely destroyed. Should be able to hold these guys for a little while though. If we can get a few minutes here, then we should be able to hold the last point. It's all it's all very time dependent. If you can actually hold people for a few minutes at each point, yeah, they as soon as they capture a point they get given like an extra three or four minutes. But if you can actually hold people for a decent amount of time on the first initial points, then the uh, higher chance of winning you've got later on. But this one is a really good one to try and hold, because it's a very difficult one. If you've got it probably stacked up, 
like we have here, it's a very difficult one for people to take. But like I said, people can, they can actually come all the way around here, and there's ladders and stuff here which they can get up and just go straight to sea, which is um, a bit of a cheeky play. But people do it here as well. If you want to keep a, keep an eye out on what's actually going on, you can't really be targeted from this window, which is quite nice. But it gives you a good view of everything that's going on. That's a really good view. This guy with that mortar is going to be destroying this wall. That's the whole aim there. Always going to shoot it through the window. So about the bit, <laughs> the whole bit about being targeted. Uh, maybe it can be by the mortars, but so they're going to be able to tread this now. Now they've broken this wall down, they're going to be able to tread this, which is going to make it a lot more difficult for us to hold now. Still, if we can hold this for a couple more minutes, and that's what we've got to try and do. Uh, a few of the boys have gone running outside, which isn't the greatest of it is. Should be okay, we've still got a decent amount of units here. I haven't got any units left, I've run out of units totally, which is uh, a bit sucky, but as you can see, people take the seat. And I don't think people have actually realised. So what they would have done is come up these ladders here, come up some ladders as well along the walls, and just jump straight up to C, but because everyone's now running off from C, uh, from B, C is likely going to be okay. B is now going to suffer and because these guys are going to really stack this now and get in here. God, I love grape shots. Grape shot cannons do so much damage. Yeah, they're starting to head up now. It's time to come up. They are just getting ready to stack up at this point, which is not. Gonna be good for anyone. Oh, come on, come on, great shot, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. I'm gonna get one more. Great shot off. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Right, run, 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 run. Oh. Oh, he got me. Okay, so as I see, see safe. B is starting to suffer a little bit. There's a loads of archers down there, some Nam can as well, so they're going to be putting out loads of bleed damage on people. B. B is likely going to be lost. We are going to lose B. And we are unlikely going to lose C as well, because once you lose B, it's very difficult to actually keep C on this map. Let's find this, this map. Like, Nine times out of ten, always, always ends up on the last point. Yeah, it's just an absolute bloodbath on that last point. Um, I'm going to pull out a blister ready for that last point, but I'm not going to use it yet. Because it is better used on the last point. But yeah, B is, B is definitely gone. At this point, B is gone. There's a bit of a fight happening over at C. So I'm going to try and get in there. See safe for the minute. <laughs> it's not going to take long. We have got double, double, pretty much the uh, the unit count though. That's that's good. So that's definitely better for us. They've used a lot of units taking those first couple of points. So that should help us massively in the defence of the last point. Naughty musket. Buff up these guys with a little bit of damage. Yes, but yeah, C is pretty much gone now at this point as well. It's going to be really difficult to actually hold C, although the lads down there are mounting up a bit of a, uh, bit of a decent defense, I have to say. 
always good there. You can uh, jump around behind them. People don't realise that. Some people don't. Oh, I've been rushed. Oh, mate. So we are holding we're, we're holding this better than usual, actually. Although they are really stacking now. They're really stacking up. If they start coming up behind us at this point as well, it's going to make it even more difficult. Actually, the team is doing fairly well. The team is actually making sure that they're keeping them back. I think it's definitely going to boil down to how many units everyone has left, though, in a second. So, I'm going to wait until C. I'm going to, if C if C gets taken, then I'm going to set up this ballista in on this point here, which a perfect spot for the ballista is just in this corner, which is a very nice spot for it, because you can actually get people, even when the wall has, has fallen, you can get people quite nicely from that, that angle. What I'm going to do though is just go over and help out and see for the time being. I'm just going to kind of back them up and see. Make it really difficult for people to actually uh, get over there all the way around. Because, uh, I'm going to go give them a hand up here first actually. It seems pretty, pretty chill, pretty cool at the moment. Right, so might be able to actually help out a little bit here. Just try and hold them off a little bit longer. They are coming there. Oh, units. Yeah, we've still, still got pretty much double what they have. That's good. If we can keep those numbers. Keep those numbers up. That's good. Oh, that's a naughty grape shot there. Whoever's paladins they are, they should be rushing them now. If they rushed them, I think they would actually get a couple hit kills possibly. See, it's looking pretty chill, pretty cool. They're really trying to stack up here. Well, they just don't have any units. It's starting to become a bit of a battle. Help out as best we can. Try not to die though. We want to um, do want to stay alive. We've already died a couple of times this game, which ain't good. Shame I've already run out of units and uh, berserkers right now would be very useful, but they've got a minute, minute and a half left. It's going to take them easily, easily 20 seconds to capture that, the rest of the seats, so they got a minute, realistically, to uh, to make some progress, which at the, uh, oh, don't want to be going that way, at the minute, it's not looking great for them, so they're going to do one last ditch effort, I think, in a second, um, most of the team is dead, which is good to see. Obviously. Two guys are just trying to sneak up us there, which is a little bit naughty. Come on, come on, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. There you go, nice. Nice. I think my ult definitely, uh, oh, that bleed might get me. That should be alright, actually. Just. Yeah, their whole team pretty much is dead. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say we've done this and we have scored our first victory of the series, which I'm glad about. First video, first victory.
very happy about that. My score, positive. I'll take that. 437. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. As long as it's positive, I'm happy. That was a good game. Enjoyed this game. I do enjoy defending on the Great Wall. I really do. I love this map. I know some people don't like it. Attacking on it, he's a bit of a pain in the ass. Defending on it, I really do enjoy. Uh, but I'm going to sign off for there. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this kind of just literally just gameplay with commentary kind of video, please do let me know down in the comments below, and I will look to make a couple each week for the time being, and then depending on how well they are enjoyed, I will look to actually push a, uh, a video out every couple of days, if not every day, of just some regular Siege gameplay. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. As always, folks, hit that sub button, that like and share it around all that lovely fun stuff and i hope to catch you out on the battlefield